I switched out there, I got up, I got to move the mic back fucking over here. There! Now my voice should be able to be heard. Um, the reward, right? We brought it, yep, so uh, I'll just give it to you then. I kiss you a little under brother. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Uh, are you being bullied? Right yeah! You're on the of That's some... Um, I knew it. I understand. From experience. From experience, Emiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? Is that where your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst the yeah, use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches. Stop it. Uh, you don't imagine stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Uh, hold on, the mono cubs bully each other? What? No way, the mono cubs should always get along. Oh hey, you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? <laughs> Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. We all get along always. What? Um, oh yes, we do. Right. See, my children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why you? Bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh well. Well, I think threatening by model cubs give off is perfect. And that's that. Cause we're a team of scary badasses who are gonna drag you down to hell. <laughs> ah, such adorable little badasses. Anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you all been waiting for. Listen up. Cause this is not easy. Fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow! What a bunch of random junk! Bravo! Bravo! Yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. How nice. Yeah. Don't get inspired by him, Gunta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the choice. Just do your best however you please. Let's go. You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. Secret weak point, you mean the nape of our necks? No, not that. Anything but that. Wait, so nape of your necks is your weak point? I would never do that. I just want to get along. What? Get along? Really? You stupid. Don't let him fool you. He killed my old kid, remember? Seen that robot looking one? Get left out makes me think of Kibo. Am I really excluded? So what should we do with this junk? Maybe we need to use these or this various things all over campus. And what will happen when we do? Um, I'm not sure. Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. No, let's leave this to baseball camp. I keep calling baseball camp. What me? You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Okay, I'll try. Man, what else? I guess that's fine. Let me go from around the academy and figure out what these missed objects are for. Alright, let's get going. <laughs> Cracking up, are you?
Oh shit, it actually shows up in inventory. Um, I want to check the one thing with that one writing on it. I bet there's something there. Where's his ass? <laughs> uh, might be a clue. <laughs> I load up by using a door. Great. Hmm. That's strange. There are fewer plants around here. Some place would be renovated as well. Oh, are going to be actively buildings? This area is under construction. This close construction is still ongoing. What exactly is this county built anyway? No one has come to save us. This is some place remote. Where could you build a complex this large and secret? Well, that wasn't very hard to figure out. Vine suddenly withered. They even withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Ah, can we get in? We can go in from there, right? You tend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. Oh, look, it's the bears again. No, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Huh? Pool? Okay. Yeah, there's a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. Right. Only for our convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. That's wonderful. wonderful explanation. Huh? Right now. Uh, th thank you. You stupid. Um, uh, I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes it so happy. Why should, what should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not gonna no, go in for a swim, are we? But it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It's never bad to have too much information. I suppose you're right. Oh yeah, it is! Oh, too much information can be a bad thing. <laughs> not normally, but it happens. That pool has a really low water level. This place looks like a normal school pool. More like a pool or resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Wow. Well, boys dream to swim in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. But I don't know how to swim. And I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even further. It doesn't look like normal pools are like clothes. Okay. There's like a storage room? <laughs> Being the side discovered all manners of pool supplies in here. It's fully stocked with kick boards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way. Perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. <laughs> you think you would look like that? I think you would look like that tire company's mascot. What, the Michelin one? The large diving board. It's also something you would find at a resort. Some pool rules are posted here. There's there's one that I find peculiar. Mm. So swimming is prohibited at night time? That's right. That's right. No one's allowed to swim during night time. It'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. We need you to die in the killing game. He was in the pool at night time, but even touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add it to the existing regulations just in case. Anyway, why is the pool's bar level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What the hell are you saying? You got caping holes inside of your eyes or something? Enough water to swim, it only looks solid because the pool is so deep. And someone would be more likely to drown if they fill it up all the way. So that's that. Put a lot of thought in some strange things. Wonderful explanation, everyone. But really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Did you forget that he killed Mono Kid? You should hate his guts. Screw Mono Kid. I always hated him. He was violent, vulgar, rude to stop the shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. 
Why that sound like plays near the end? So long, <laughs> anyway, no swan at nighttime. That's okay. I was planning on swan. They also have some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length, 39 feet wide. The pool is 13 feet on each end. The left and right sides are 8 feet each. I guess there is still a lot of room down there. Why the hell do you make it so fucking deep? That's an exit there. The window must be one of the school's buildings. Where are the windows being sealed off, but the window up here looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Or anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who do that? Our gender males get more turned on by girls and swishers than girls who are naked. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties that we wear over our privates. But the male. What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of gender males? No. Why do you keep going on with that? I think you may be overreacting a little. Oh, Kibo, are you a gender male girl? Which is it? Good question. I've never thought about it before. Really? How interesting. I suppose. I just assumed it was a he, but Kivo is a robot, so... Probably well, neither. Oh, I gotta talk to them, too! But the one's rude! There's a fancy pool here that there must be swimsuits here too. Huh? Uh, are you positive? Yeah. Of course, there'd be no point having the pool, this pool here otherwise. Well, let's suppose that's true, but... So where are the snowsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true, all their clothes seem to contain his spare uniforms. Hmm. Are these swimsuits are supposed to be in the warehouse? How scandalous, they're in a place that dinner males have easy access uh, to. Um, I don't really think that's a problem. Oh, I get it. You're the worst of the Anders worst! only care about you swimsuits or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, the shirt in the warehouse are definitely safe. What? I'll talk to Kibo. Hmm. I wonder if the day will ever come when I can swim with everyone. Kibo, I was wondering, if you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or in a pineapple? What? No. No, I believe that before you got too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Please, stop. Please don't say such scary things, both of you. I'll never set foot on a boat. Oh, I need to look at that too, huh? That window must be a gym's window. It looks like the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym on the pool area are connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's school to have each gym pool area near each other. Right. But I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's all the pool area. I'll let the other place investigate. <laughs> Oh, I know. So this is how they're going to add new areas, huh? A hotel and a casino. That seems pointless. Oh my god, you actually have to pay? What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication.
What is this place? Is it like a casino? Oh, they cut the music off. Where'd the phone go? Fiddle sticks. Where did it go? Why, hello where? Oh, the name says nothing. Hmm. Is my phone within your eyesight? This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. You can earn lots of model coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. Yep, yep, you sure can. <laughs> That's wonderful amateurs, Mono Dam. And a flavor not even father can match. That's right. In a sense, you surpassed okay. Daddy. Which makes you Grandpa Mono Dam. Grandpa Mono Dam. Casino, why is casino a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange mono coins for coins at the cashier. Only you can exchange them. Exchange them you can't exchange back, so you know what you're doing. But now you should be able to see how many coins you have. The coins you saved up in exchange for the prize at the prize exchange counter. Always getting new prizes, look forward to that. There are games for you to try in the basement. Go ahead, let's play. <laughs> Anything I can do in here? Thanks for sandwich. Maybe I'll try this one. I didn't even read the rules like an idiot. I have no idea what the fuck that even means. Okay, Kaito. Oh look, Suji. Kaito shouted and pointed at treasure coins in front of him. Whoa, where'd you get that amount of coins? I hit the jackpot. I got this much from just one coin. All this from just one coin. That's incredible. This is a great day for the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. Wow. Nice work, Maverick. Guess some uncanny look you got Whoa. there. Whoa, they don't just jump out like that. My bad, I was lured here by your lucky streak. Nice haul you got there. You can cash in those coins for something really splendid. What character is he playing? Well, well. It's only good here, though. But if you earn more, you could reach the best treasure in this place. Huh. After hearing that, there's no going back for me. But you could trade in what you already have right huh. now. What are you saying? If I don't meet his challenge, I'm not a true man. Because there's no way I mean, my intuition is as luminous as the stars could be wrong. That's it, Maverick. You do, man. Man, you're gonna lose all your shit. And thus began the sad tale of Kaito's downfall. What? 
Ah, oh, damn it, not again. What's wrong, Maverick? You don't know have your coins. Wouldn't you best walk away now? I'm just half. I'm gonna get everything back. Just you watch me. Get us here one coin after another, but it would never came. Yeah. This is Let's my go. last coin. This is where I'm gonna have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. Get us this last coin in slot and determine the stereo, pull the lever. Right here. Ah. Too bad your quiz was totally wrong, Kaito. Man, I'm glad I built this casino. Why the suckers lose everything? It's hilarious. You need to hear that a lot from people who have gambled away everything. They think they can win just a little bit more and end up destroying themselves. I'll go gambling forever. You can bet on that. It's also typical what these people say. We can't play this right now. Places. One for airport, one for balls. Yeah, you maybe have something. Hmm. Object, but I don't think I use any object. Let me try a different object. Courier won't have anything. to school then? I don't know what else I can use this passport and this other thing at. Wasn't anything in the down the basement. So cool, we can get past this wall now. All right, then charge. Oh. Wait, wait, charging in is dangerous. Um, you know me what's yeah. wrong? Nothing, but I felt stained air drifting from that damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. No one's been here for a long time. How long is a long time? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. 
this door, it must be ultimate research lab. Alright, All right, let's go inside. Ultimate maid lab, huh? Who gives off an antique vibe? This, these are Victorian. This decorations adorn the British Empire's peak of Queen Victoria's reign. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. Queen Victoria, Jack the Ripper was in that time, correct? Even the detective, ever the detective, I see. This ultimate maid's lab is does seem perfectly suited for me. There's a doll at the dining table, perhaps a family dinner. This is my research lab, and soon these figures represent those that I must serve. Excellent. Victoria, this room is quite tasteful. I don't dislike gothic styles such as these. Uh, yeah, me too. It appears to be Kruman's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Kyoko closed his eyes and spoke as if in trance. There is 19th century in England, a gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. A story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social hey. classes. That sounds like the plot for of a manga for girls. Is it so? Then are you saying I'm, I'm like some young love-struck girl? So that's how it's reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Area, many servants live beneath the manors in which they were employed. They are known as downstairs people, as a stark reminder of the old station. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Whoa. Instead, there are a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These applications are most useful when I'm performing my cleaning. Cleaning huh? me to school? Look here, you don't have to do that. I do not mind to serve others as a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. And cast aside a person for the sake of serving everyone. Suppose that makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if, if you have a request. Given our situation, I will take I will not take monetary payment. I will do anything you ask. Anything. It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Waiting for you. Hurry, hurry. We're all ready. Hurry for what? <laughs> Strange doors. This must be an ultimate. Sank to be the ultimate entomologist lab. <laughs> Whoa, look at all these bugs. This big specimen is lying the entire wall. It's a little, no, very gross. Amazing. Amazing. This paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Amazing! Amazing, Gunta. Wonder how many bugs there are. Gunta's so excited to get his own special mm. room. Who make this room anyway? Gunta need to say thank you. Huh? I'm supposed to Monokuma and Mono Cubs. But no way, Monokuma. Yeah. But no person who likes bugs can be a bad person. Gunta sad. A lot of books here. They all seem to relate to insects. Wow, that, that's an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Lots of larvae and eggs, and they even splendid in a cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated. What? It's okay, eggs probably hatch, we're gonna take good what? care of them. We'll do your best then. If these all hatch, there'll be bugs all over the academy. We're releasing all these bugs in the New World, it's like that Bible story, Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed and by a great flood, and humans and animals began. Perhaps it's a little too dramatic. Well, let's go into his research lab then. Uh, um. Let's 
Is this a treasure chest? Oh, we found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it? Really? I should open it? I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it. It's getting the sense that, th that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Alright, fine. So I found some open chest and... Is this a flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Maybe try turning it on? No, it's too dangerous. We should inspect it. Okay, even the flashlight is saying turn me on. Turn me on, hurry up and turn me on. It's begging you. If I, eh, eh, ah, if you're so you, why don't you flip the switch, Andy? Well then. Now that you have one, expect this flashlight myself. Huh? Maybe halfway. Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bye, Onara. Let me snatch the flashlight for me right off the bouncer right. step. Wait, inspect it. How? It looks like we can get the third floor right. here. A little scary, but I'll try it. Another lab. All this tennis player. Isn't that with like the, the one guy's room? That might be the ultimate tennis bros lab. That might be what would be probably Raggy's training equipment. Huh. So the indoor tennis court, this is impressive. This is your lab, right, Roma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> Don't care, I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis. Hey. Roma, are you really not going to play tennis anymore? That? Tennis, who the hell plays a hotty toddy sport like tennis? Sure. Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? It's fine if you forgot. That was a long time ago. So when you killed the mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago, too? Wait. Hey, come on, what Mew. What, it really happened, yeah? Yeah, that's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll go go straight to a different prison. So it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Why are you standing in the tennis court with such sad eyes, Roma? Are you are you a little bitch? Cause you're acting like a little bitch right now. Look at the stare down, you're scaring me. Oh, now this is an interesting machine. Interesting machine. You mean the one swinging the racket? A few months, this bad baby will look real good. Here, my creative juices are flowing. Yeah, make an alarm. <laughs> okay. Go from her. It has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, oh, crap. I still got to click on shit. Is there or something in the back? There's a sour room in the back. I sure remember, why don't you boys go and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Roma. You lined up just right when you turn around. No, really? I was kidding, I thought you'd laugh. Okay, so I can't click on the tennis net. It's being an ass about it. 